morning. It's Thursday. I almost said Wednesday because yesterday felt like Monday. Even though it was Wednesday. Today is Thursday. Okay, yes, Thursday. Um, I had something to say and now I don't remember what it is. I'm just brushing my hair out. I had, yeah, so definitely the Shea Moisture has changed their formula because before, after having a day of Shea Moisture in the hair, you refresh your hair and it gets that slip back in it. Now, when I refresh my hair after Shea Moisture, it feels, it doesn't feel slippery feels like it has that film on it so I don't think it was the um I don't think it may have been a combination of both but I don't think it was a combination uh, what is the stuff Scala and Shea Moisture probably did make both a film but I don't know it it's so you know curly hair products are crazy because you never know what is going to work together and what isn't. And I know that the brands out there want you to use their brands together. And they probably advertise them as these work as using them together. Use with whatever, whatever, you know. Like, I know a lot of the, um, uh, the Garnier Fructis. The Garnier products, they advertise, use with Garnier, blah, 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 blah. But it's not always affordable, you know, or feasible because sometimes the stores don't have all the products of that brand. You know, maybe they have one thing like the moist, the, the uh, like I use the Garnier Fructis Grow Strong formula. Well, they're all color-coded, the little products that you're supposedly supposed to use together. Well, I like the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine. Not the same color as the, the Grow Strong, you know? And it's just not, it's just not feasible sometimes. That's what works for me. Look how stiff, I think maybe because my hair is cold. I don't know. It's really so stiff when I brushed it out just then. I am... The back is the hardest. It just doesn't want to detangle well. You know, as I sleep on my hair a little bit. Oh, anyways, good morning. Happy Wednesday. I'm going to finish doing this. All right, this is another Timu shirt. Uh, Alexa, what time is it? It's 7 a.m. Okay, I got some time. This is another Timu shirt. Um, it came, remember it was two pieces? It's not two pieces, it looks like two pieces. Got this piece here. I don't know what you call it. I got the bigger size. Oh, I see what the problem is. My hair is in the, tucked in the back. Let's do that. Oh, that's much better. Okay. I got the bigger size, which you can tell by the sleeves. You're supposed to pull them up. Um, I like to see it has the this happening. Um, I got a bigger size. I could have, this would have fit true to size, but it's okay. So here's what it looks like. Um, it's like this. It has this part here and it has these strings um they're decoration they don't do anything I thought maybe they would like ruch it or something but no they don't do anything they're just decoration but again this is just my outfit Timu Timu shoes with Timu socks that you can't see, Walmart leggings, Timu top, Walmart bra. I'm cheap. 
not really cheap. I'm just, I'm frugal. And if there's a good quality product, I would say this is a good quality shirt. It's nice sweater, actual sweater material. This is that same um, polyester material, which if you can't wear polyester, okay, sorry. But I can. So, and it's not like, it's not a cheap sew, sewing, whatever. Mm, but yeah, uh, just decoration, these strap, these little strings. So I'm going to tie them in a bow. And that's that. There we go. A little loose, loose uh, bows or whatever. I'll probably cut them off at some point, but uh, for right now, they are just there. Okay. I uh, I could wear white, um, white uh, pants if I wanted to get the white out. And then you can just push these up like this. And that's, uh, you know, a little, this looks like that. You know, it's good. It's good. And I like a long sleeve sometimes that I like to go, oh, I'm cold and be cozy. All right. Well, anyways, I'm going to get my shit together and then I'm going to go. So, um, $1.25 Vaseline. I think I bit my lip because, oh, you see that? Mm hmm. There. Kink is there. Like, where I bit my lip, probably. Alright. See you after work. I'm at work. I just got here. It's only 7.38 and I don't start for like 20 minutes. I'm trying to be quiet because my supervisor is like just not on the other side, but anyway, doesn't matter. Um, it's snowing. Hardly anybody works in here. Pretty sure on the top, on this floor, there's probably like 20 people, if that, during the day. Thank you, pandemic. I don't know. It's nice and quiet and calm. Some big ass flakes. Okay, I'm gonna watch the snow while I get logged in. It's snowing very hard outside. I am very happy we have a garage. Still. Two, or two, D2. Oh, Jesus. Here we are. R2. If you don't work here, you can't have snacks. I'm trying to see if they've replenished anything. Yeah, a little bit. Oh good. I'm gonna get me a Starbucks double shot. Okay, bye. I gotta work. Later. Okay. Hello. I am home now, as you can tell by my homeness. Um yes, today. Busy busy. But I had like a few calls that were like bonkers. Like Okay, this, hold on. Okay, so a uh, representative of the family, financial advisor, I don't know. Anyway, they're mad. Family's mad because they don't feel as though the funeral home should have been paid the amount that they got paid. So the, what they're trying to say is, one moment, they're trying to say the funeral home violated the uh, financial something change act. I forgot the name of the act. Um, the federal something change act. Anyways, 
They're saying that they were legally obligated to change, to notify the family of any changes in prices. Um, apparently, the state of Michigan, this does not apply to them. Being a federal act, I would assume it would have applied to all states, but I guess not. At least that's what my supervisor says. But regardless, net, and the my work is not involved. We can't be involved. We paid what we were supposed to pay according to the contract, minimum of whatever the goods and services was at the time, which was back in 2008. So come 2023, inflation, you know, funeral home can't change, can't control prices of certain things like um, cost of flowers or like a DJ or whatever. So they, um, you know, there's extra costs there that weren't originally included. And when you go and change things like the casket was changed and some other stuff was changed. You go and change some stuff, it also changes the cost of the funeral. So the funeral home ends up charging more than what was originally agreed upon back in 2008. So when that happens, uh, my company is obligated or we contracted in to pay the, the minimum or what it was at the time. We paid more. We paid way more than what it was. Okay, then, and the family gets the difference. And a lot of times with Michigan, they don't get the difference. It usually goes to like the state or something like that. So they got the difference. It wasn't what they wanted, like the difference of, uh, you know, what we actually pay the funeral versus what funeral act, funeral signed up for. So they were probably expecting that. And they're mad about not getting that amount. So they're pr trying to say that the funeral home never uh, was legally obligated to notify the family of the change in prices. And because they didn't notify the family of the change in prices, that their family was then um, is then uh, uh, eligible or, or uh, um, the family gets the difference is what they're trying to say. And um, again, it's not anything we do. We paid out what we're supposed to pay out. It's between you and the, and the funeral home now. Nothing we can do about that. I don't think it's going to work out for them. Sorry, family, but I don't. Because um, funeral home, they did give, they after the services were performed, they gave a new bill to the whoever the financial person is. They didn't give the bill before the funeral the services were rendered. Um, I would think they would have to give the bill before the services were rendered and then also have a new signature on the new funeral bill. But apparently the state of Michigan is not required. I don't know if it's just not required for us or for the entire funeral bill. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a legal person, I'm not a lawyer, I don't know. So that's between them two, and if they're going to try to take legal action on it, they'll get like $4,000, maybe. And then after a legal, they might get a grand. I don't know. I don't know how that stuff works. Anyway, good luck to them. I got to poop. Yeah, that's what I thought. Trying to get my sandwich, my grilled cheese sandwich. Not for you. Good evening. The time is not important. It's nine. Oh, hey, yo. It's nine something. I don't know what time it is. And uh, it doesn't really matter. It's 
since I am going to bed now, and I work from home tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday! It, do you remember Rebecca Black? It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Looking forward to the weekend, weekend, Friday, Friday. And she had the auto-tune. <sighs> okay, so I don't have any hangers. I need to get rid of some clothes. Okay, let me go through really quick. I know there's something in here I can get rid of already. That's a new, new, new. That stays, that stays, that stays, stay, 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 stay. The hell, I wear all of these. I wear all of those ones. Let's go this way. But num 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 Maybe I can consolidate a couple of these shirts in the same hanger, maybe. I need to go through my clothes. <laughs> Look at this. It's a kangar sore. Pretty sure I bit my lip. Remember, I was showing it to you. Oh, look, a free hanger. Neat. It's free as in it's not in use. You know. Okay. Where is the back? I don't know. There's no tag on this thing, like, in the back. So I have no idea what the back, where the back of the shirt is. Um, so you gotta find, like, the sh shoulders. And then be like, oh, okay, I'm going to hang it. There we go. It's the back. Um, why am I hanging it up when I wore it to work? Because it's still clean. I didn't spill on it. Ah, the back. Itch, itch, itch. Time to take off my pants. I take off my pants and my cloth like this. Ross is coming up stairs with the. Uh, we're having chips and dip in the bed. I got, I got potato chips. He's got tortilla chips and the queso. Toasty, toasty. And I got some cheddar bacon dip and a little bit of a uh, spinach artichoke dip to go with my potato chips. And uh, he's like, I said I would share. And I said, well, maybe I want all of it. <laughs> because sometimes I do. Sometimes I just want to have all the things. And, you know, that doesn't mean I'm going to eat all the things like be all of it all gone that's not what i'm gonna do just wanna oops cool anyway oh yeah i just i want to taste the flavors taste the rainbow like skittles but with dip so, that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to go to bed, okay? I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go to bed. I'm in a goofy mood. So I, well, goofy, silly, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I'm saying garbage things. So on that note, have a good night. Tomorrow is Friday, so I'll see you tomorrow. Toodles.